welcome to the New Genesis Health Green Herb Show on KLTT, 670 AM on your dial. I'm Linda Phillips, and we're coming to you weekly, hoping to reach out to hurting people everywhere. Um, and I know there's a big listening audience, and I appreciate every one of you. There's been some of you coming in, and you're just the salt of the earth. We appreciate it. The local number here in Wheat Ridge, Colorado is 303-421-9900. Outside the area, toll-free 1-888-765-4372. We're located at 4565 Kipling Street. That's north of 44th, south of I-70 on the mountainside of Kipling in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. We are a natural health facility with Dr. Mike Cass, chiropractor extraordinaire, I always say. He... um, Man, he he virtually saved my life this week. I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, I was in an accident. I got rear-ended a couple years ago, and uh, there was a uh, a rib head that went out uh, behind my heart, you know, on the back of my, on my back, but just about the location of my heart. And so ever since then, I've been getting adjustments, and I've been, you know, stressed and into so much stuff lately I hadn't been to see him for a couple months and I thought I was having a heart problem and I finally got to see him this week and oh my it was just like the breath of life he he uh I was extremely sore it was difficult I usually don't make any uh terrible noises but it was hurting and he was having to massage those muscles and he was finally able to uh, get that in and it was almost it wasn't instantaneous, but it was starting instantly, where within a half an hour, I felt completely normal. And so if you've got something going on like that, make sure your uh, spine is aligned, because Dr. Mike is just a great chiropractor. He also does acupuncture, and he's the best at that that I've ever been to as well. We And then we have uh, muscle activation technique therapy with Patrick, and he um, he's great. It's a... a where he goes into the attachments in the body and gets rid of uh, ischemic fluid, lactic, uric, arachidonic acid, and uh, does a a deep tissue uh, uh, healing. It's um, hard to explain, but you can Google it, muscle activation therapy, uh, and uh, look and see. But we've got Patrick here. He's one of the teachers from the school here. He's just great. We also have the far infrared sauna that uh, people are telling me that come in that it burns away virus and bacteria and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a uh, birch wood. It's not wet heat. It's uh, a light, a red light, far infrared sauna. And that works quite well. And a lot of people come into that. You have to set an appointment for it. The beauty of that is it's free the first time and $10 thereafter. Uh, or you can get an unlimited um if you live close by, uh, for $70 unlimited for a month. And it's it's a, a lot of people just love it. And, you know, if you've got a sluggish thyroid and you're cold all the time, your hands and feet are cold, uh, it's a great way to start to warm up the body and keep that warmth because it does help your um, the integrity of your system as it flows through and you're, you know, just going to get your temperature up a little bit there. Um, we also have the nutritional and dietary and herbal counselors. Um, I'm one of them. I'm the only one at this point because um, we'll full, fill me up and then we'll start with uh, some others that are already trained. Uh, we also have the uh, live, live blood cell analysis. The one I prefer and the one I use is the Bright Field. And uh, my favorite lens magnifies hugely and it's a beautiful thing it's a finger prick blood test very clean situation Uh, I've been a clean freak all of my life and now with all this I feel like you know I'm in my my element here Uh, you know everybody's having to be clean too I hope they are but it's you know very clean we clean this spot we you know everything is clean brand new needle Sometimes I'm surprised when people say, is that a new needle, when I just put it in in front of them. But, you know, I need to quit taking their attention away from what I'm doing and just show it to them, I think, because most people are a little bit nervous when they're getting their finger pricked. But I did go to school for that, too, and I don't really hurt people. I very rarely have anybody even react at all. So it's not going to be a painful thing. You get to see the results immediately right there on the screen. 
uh, we're looking for what things are there that do not belong. So what we'd like to see is Uh, A lot of red cells, not too many, not climbing all over each other in stacks, just separate. They can bump, but they shouldn't overlap, and there should only be a certain number, and we've got a picture that shows what it should look like. The other thing is white cells should be a good ratio to the red cells. Uh, Your white cells are going to be busy eating some things, but you want to have a certain amount of guardsmen, the perfectly round ones, and your electrolytes should be up there, and that's going to depend on if you eat and drink electrolytes, and uh, what kind of level of uh, uh, activity do you have. If you haven't had much to drink and you cleaned your house or went and worked out and you come in to see me, I'm not going to see as many electrolytes. Those are electrically charged minerals. And, you know, I wanted to talk about that a little bit, and I'm going to talk specifically about potassium in just a minute. But we formulate and uh, create our own uh, herbal blends and formulas. And, um, you know, without any fillers whatsoever, it's just a great thing to uh, be aware of and to have available. I've been, um, I haven't been to the doctor in 37 years, except once with the Martian death flu. Uh, well, that's what I named it. And that was probably 15 or more years ago. Well, it have to be about 20 years ago because I had some of my older grandkids with me and they were little uh, when I started feeling ill. And then another time about eight years ago when a cat bit me and I had to go in because red streaks were going up my arm and I saw my husband's doctor. But other than that, I just don't go. So my son, uh, my youngest son who works here, Jesse, he said, uh, you know, I just want to know that you're healthy. You're 77 years old. I want you to go to the... So I called my husband's doctor, and I made arrangements. In this, and it's the funniest thing. You can't really see the doctor right now. It's a video chat. So um, I had taken my vitals and gave her the information and went by and signed a release form. And um, So anyway, so for the first time in, you know, 37 years, I'm going to get a checkup. <laughs> a regular health, uh, healthy doctor visit, hopefully, and uh, do all the things that are involved with that. So, uh, you know, I'm not opposed to doctors at all. What I'm opposed to is drugs. And this particular doctor is a DO, and she also uh, studied herbs and uh, muscle movement and, and uh, er- uh, a lot of different things that are just very, makes me She's a functional medicine, too. So that's the kind of doctor I'm going to go to. Well, I I did go to. I didn't really go to, but I told her she was my doctor today. (laughs) It was the craziest thing. I've never had anything like this, but it's all because of the virus, you know. Anyway, I've been eating correctly for many, many years, and uh, my blood pressure is like a young person, probably better than most of them. Uh, Everything... My vital signs are all all good, and she said, you know, that was exactly the way she did. She said, I take a lot of nutritional supplements myself. And so, anyhow, I told her what I did with the blood cell analysis, and I think she's going to come in and do that. Um, anyway, that's kind of been my morning today. I wanted to talk about um, a little bit about um, this potassium that I mentioned because we're entering the heat season pretty soon, you keep thinking it's coming and then it cools off again. But we, you know, the more active you are, the more potassium you use. And if you go to a health food store, and I've mentioned this a couple times, uh, you go to buy a potassium blend, and it and it's a citrate or a sporotate or some blend like that, and it's either two percent of what you need in a day, or it's three percent. But the legal amount, by law, of elemental potassium that you can put in a capsule is 99 milligrams. So um, one of those bottles I purchased, you know, I would have had to take 50, the the one that's 2% of your need, and the other one is 3%, and I would have had to take 33. But I've been just throwing a little bit in, you know, five or six in my hand, taking some of our super green, which is uh, seaweed, and is loaded with all kinds of minerals. Um, bought some little meal squirt that you put in your water that gives you a little bit more potassium. It just 
uh, but there's a lot of things you can do, and I'll I'll talk about some of the symptoms of uh, low potassium, but I also want to bring up that you shouldn't go be, below 2,500 as adult um, milligrams of potassium. And like my big son, I'm sure he gets about 4,500 uh, with all the things that he takes and eats. Um, and so some of the foods that contain potassium are potato skins, um, about 1,200 milligrams of the, uh, the uh, potato the size of an avocado, average avocado, if you eat the skin. And be careful with that because a lot of people don't do carbs. Some people object to potatoes, but I'll eat one once in a blue moon. Um, there are some other things that are fruity and sugary that I'm not going to bring up because I don't want you to eat them. Because most people, everybody that I see these days has candida overgrowth broken through into their blood with a leaky gut situation with, um, you know, if, if I can see it in the bloodstream, uh, the fungal forms, it's uh, over 70%. So I'm usually saying don't eat fruit right now. Um, but the avocado has about 1,600 milligrams, average size avocado. Uh, and so a lot of people say, well, I eat a quarter of one a day. Well, just go ahead and, you know, if you can afford to, eat that whole avocado. It's good for you. You can put it in a salad with some tomatoes, which also have potassium and peppers and onions, and it just makes the most delicious salad. Tomatoes have potassium, seafood um, you know, a lot of people are very careful about their seafood as well as I am, although I crave it. Um, being from Florida, we used to have it minimum two times a week, usually more, fresh caught from the Indian River or from the sea. And, uh, you know, we just were very blessed to have all that um, seafood. But it's a little bit more difficult out here in the West and also – you want to be careful about where your seafood comes from. I usually do not do Pacific seafood because of Fukushima. So I'm looking at northern waters or Icelandic cod, things like that. Uh, citrus, and so the juice of a whole lemon every morning, uh, 20 minutes before you eat breakfast, and 8 ounces of warm water, that's going to give you uh, some potassium, but it's also going to give you some vitamin C and give you a very nice balance to your digestives because um, people say, isn't that too acidic? No, it's the right acid. And so when you first get up in the morning, if you drink that, it will do you a lot of good, trust me. Uh, tons of people that come in are already doing that because their parents taught them to do that. Whole grains, but be careful. We've got a situation with gluten, you know. Um, most of the grains that I take in might be black wild rice, black and wild rice or added add a little quinoa to that and we do a lot of seeds as well um, squash beans spinach black beans spinel beans uh, um, and limas seeds nuts beets celery yogurt poultry and many herbs i'll be right back talking more about potassium Welcome to the New Genesis Health Green Herb Show on KLTT. This is your second half. I'm Linda Phillips, and we're coming to you weekly, hoping to reach out to hurting people everywhere. I'll go ahead and give the address again. We're located at 4565 Kipling Street, north of 44, south of I-70, on the mountain side of Kipling in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. The local number is 303-421-9900, and outside the area, toll-free, one eight 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 seven six five four three seven two, and just to reiterate a little bit less time here, a natural health facility with chiropractic, acupuncture, muscle activation, far infrared sauna, nutritional dietary counselors, herbal counselors, our own formulas, and the live blood cell analysis. So that's pretty much what we do. I wanted to just cover a little bit of this because we're approaching hot summer, and I'd like to protect people from getting themselves injured and. Every single year I get people talking to me about someone who died out on a run, somebody otherwise healthy, um, because I get people calling in. I got people in Alaska and California and New York and 
Israel and Africa and all over the United States, and so I get a lot of reports, and I'm sure it's more than what I know, but I get told things. And so um, I do know that if I go work in my yard, I don't do well if I don't have enough water with minerals in it, and definitely I take extra potassium. The product that we have for that is called Nutritone. But I know that there's other things you can do, and I had, you know, kind of very quickly gone over some of the foods. But when you come in to see me and get your blood tested, I give you all this information in writing and a package um, with a diet and just everything I can think of that would benefit you. And some people are a little overwhelmed, but that's okay. Um, you know, we'll just work with you. I say, call me. We'll We'll work this out. Uh, one reason that the potassium is so low in our foods is because now at this juncture in our history, the topsoil is thinner. A lot of the vegetables are, and fruit are picked unripe and then stored and gassed on the way to market. Um, there's a lot of preservatives, pollution by chemicals. Um, a lot of people are stressed and they don't just don't absorb. And if, if you are stressed or if your blood sugar drops, you don't absorb your potassium very well. You have to take more or eat more potassium-rich foods. A lot of times people diet for weight loss, and they don't think about proper nutrition. And so if you're trying to diet for weight loss, please come see me. There's a better way. But there's a lot of reasons for lack of potassium. And the thing is that sodium or salt and potassium drive a pump mechanism that generates the energy within your cells. And there are or should be a lot of concentrations of potassium in each cell. And when it's the energy is released, it, the, that mechanism that I'm speaking of brings potassium into the cell, pushes the sodium outside the cell. But one, there's several things I want to mention because I think it's vastly important. A lot of people are already coming in telling me they're wiped out because they've been putting in their garden. <laughs> and so... Cold hands and feet, and I encountered that twice yesterday. Two gardeners that came in with that, and they don't normally have. Uh, unexplained diarrhea or constipation. The proper BMs, perfect would be when you get up and after each meal. Most Americans are a couple a day. But rapid diarrhea where you're doing, you know, 10, 15 BMs a day, that's not right. So that can be low potassium because of electrolyte uh, not being regulated. A lot of people sigh and yawn a lot because potassium helps, you know, it's a regulatory mechanism and it helps us control the way we take up oxygen. The other thing about that is if you've got the sticky red blood cells called Relo, you're going to yawn and sigh a lot too and feel kind of dim in the mind a little bit once in a while. Um, but w this one here that I'm going to talk about uh, is so common, and a lot of people go to doctor after doctor after doctor and don't get any answers. But if you're low in potassium, you can have frequent bowel and stomach pains right after you eat. And I want to say frequent bowel and stomach pains immediately after you eat, kind of up, up there in the middle between your ribs, kind of below there, right where your stomach, uh, your stomach is made of muscle. So when it begins to uh, work on your food and then when the intestine begins to move around, those muscles need minerals. And if you don't have it, you're going to get some cramping and pain. Um, and so it's just really important that chloride, sodium, potassium balance, and everything that's uh, essential to our proper digestion. So that's one of the big things that people come in here for. They say, I've got something wrong with my stomach. And I, numerous, numerous times I have just gotten on, on a better potassium intake and they fix it themselves. I don't do it, but I can advise. A lot of people get very nervous and irritable when they're uh, low potassium because potassium helps control mood swings, and also it helps with that muscle contraction when you're in menses as ladies, so that kind of pain for PMS. Uh, muscle spasms, cramps, and weakness all over the body. If you work hard and you're getting a, a gripping cramp in your, uh, maybe your calf muscle or somewhere, usually around on the legs first, but I've had people say it creeped up to their neck and draws their chin down. And now, now you're in dangerous territory when that happens because the, the, just simply the same reason of all of this, your, your muscles, your body need potassium and minerals to work. Say you're one of those people that has a lot of allergies and postnasal drip, 
you may be low in potassium because you're going to lose a lot of your electrolytes that way. Um, It also causes a lot of difficulty digesting, as we've mentioned, but it'll even make you feel nauseated. Some people vomit from lack of potassium. Uh, It'll make you crave salt or wish you had more salt or, you know, a lot of people try to, to try not to do too much salt, but it'll make it taste so good to you. Swollen hands, feet, eyelids, like edema. Uh, so that in this case, you're not uh, circulating properly because of lack of potassium and your lymphatic system doesn't work just the way it should because potassium helps you regulate fluid in and out of your cells. Another thing is insomnia or RLS. How many people have been put on quinine because of RLS? That's restless leg syndrome. So you go to bed and you can't sleep because your legs just won't behave. You just keep moving, trying to get comfortable, just moving and moving. That's low potassium. And uh, so the quinine will keep those muscles from moving around like that, but it doesn't ever fix anything. So what you really need is to give yourself some potassium enough during the day for your activity, and I always take some at bed. Uh, Also, problems regulating your blood pressure, and think about this heart rate fluctuation simply because your heart is that huge, important muscle in your body. And it'll also cause, um, if you don't have enough minerals, and I, I think I've said this almost every show, if you don't have enough minerals, you don't absorb your vitamins, and some of this can come from uh, you know, malabsorption from the candida overgrowth. But I just want I know I was talking fast, but I wanted to get that all in. Don't forget to add more potassium-rich foods for your higher uh, energy output. You know, maybe you're just going to take a hike up in the mountains. Um, you're going to need to think about taking water with you and make sure you have enough electrolytes. So there's that. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about... I want to mention a few books. Doug Kaufman, uh, he's got, uh, of the four that he has about the fungus link, volume two is my favorite, and uh, I'll read a little thing. He was being interviewed on a radio talk show in Dallas, and um, the guy says, Mr. Kaufman, I've listened to you for weeks, and you seem to recommend antifungal treatments for every disease out there. Certainly you don't think that every disease is caused by fungus or fungi. And Mr. Kaufman said, no, I don't think that every disease is caused by fungi. I know every disease is caused by fungi. Now, this is this guy's opinion. And then when I go through the profiles and I see the people, and I'm looking at their blood, and the more fungi in your blood, the more symptoms that you have of all these kinds of diseases. And, I, you know, I'll go into that when you come in. But this is just good recommended reading Uh, He talks a lot about the immune system and autoimmunes, and uh, I am completely, totally with him on all of that. In fact, the way I got this book, oh, my goodness, it must have been 10 years ago, nine maybe, a lady came in and she says, why, and she had come in from another radio station, uh, and she was from up in the north end of the state, and she says, you sound just like Doug Kaufman, and I said, who is that? (laughs) So anyway, she uh, she says, I've got an extra, I've got all his books, but I've got one that I have two copies and I'll bring it. And that's where I got this book. And I do have some of others now, but this is still my favorite. And we do agree on all of this. And there is a way to get well. I just want to offer hope. Um, you got to get on a good diet. And that's the thing, the thing that I can do best with you and some good supplements and the proper amount of water and the right kind of water is just so important. Another book from a very respected uh, author that I like to read, and he actually, um, I heard a little bit about him on TV the other day. He's in on this uh, COVID scare thing and talked about it, and I agree with what he said. But his name is Russell Blaylock, and he's a neurosurgeon. He wrote the book, Excitotoxins, The Taste That Kills. And what excitotoxins do is um, they excite the brain cells to death. And what is an excitotoxin? It can be aspartame of any name, uh, under any other name or monosodium glutamate under any other name. And so when you come in, I give you a sheet 
of paper with all this information about excitotoxins and a list with all the other names that I know of. There's been a few more. Um, aspartame can be sold now as something called um, amino sweet, which that's just ugly. You know, they're just making you think you're getting amino acids when it's MSG. Well, monosodium glutamate does kill brain cells. It disrupts a lot of your uh, cardiac function, your digestive. It's just a really, really terrible thing. Uh, Within 15 to 30 minutes after you've been exposed to high doses of MSG, your neurons that are suspended in tissues are, uh, when they're doing these tests, cultures are seen to swell up like balloons. And so there's a... uh, In this book, if you come and you want to see it, I'll show it to you if you can't find the book or if you just don't want to buy it. I can show you their test results, and it's pretty devastating. So if you get that high concentration, immediately the neuron swells up, and in one hour it begins to disintegrate. In two hours it's gone and has to be carried away by your garbage collection system or your macrophage cells. Uh, If you get a lower concentration of MSG, it might take an hour for the damage to start and two hours for the brain cell to be dead completely. And I know from um, my own experience, we went into, I mean, I avoid this like the plague, but we went with some people after church to a, a restaurant that sold, I think it was, I think it was Chinese food. But anyway, it said on this on the door, a great big circle slash MSG. In other words, we don't have MSG. So I just felt free about ordering what I love, that kind of food. It's so fresh, tasting to me. But I, I, there's this little taste in the back of your throat that you want to be careful of. Listen, I have not finished this. Maybe I can do more about this next week. And I've got more and more information for you. God bless each one of you. You're the salt of the earth.